Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only driver's championship. It's into Lagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Now I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. They've had a fantastic campaign, it's been a wonderful year, and they come into this weekend's Grand Prix as a fully deserving champion. I agree it's been a truly impressive season, but championship or no, I don't think they'll be gently cruising around to the finish line. In fact, with points no longer a concern, there's a lot less to risk, so we may even see a more aggressive approach. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Vettel, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Gasly, Kvyat, Stroll and Lando Norris. Magnussen, Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty. Alexander Albon and Russell, Latifi, Ricardo, Kimi Raikkonen and Roman Grosjean, Ocon and more. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. It's been a long season, but let's try to end it on a high note. so far. We've got a lot of 
Spare energy, use your overtake button. our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down.
Rovers ahead of you. They're on fresh softs. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 24.8. starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop. flag. Caution, caution, yellow flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the greens. There's five laps of fuel remaining. You'll be noticing a bit of grip loss in the tyres around now, so just be careful. OK, 
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. It's been a roller coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. of the day well my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc he was unstoppable out on the track today weaving through the competition with ease all respect to the fans choice they fully deserve it but I just feel that my pick had a little more on their plate so their ability to keep a cool head and come through for such a strong finish made the difference at least in my opinion nothing can challenge the leaders of the constructors championship at this point but it's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the constructors title an incredible performance for the whole team. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You were cutting your way through the field during the... Do you think you were lucky not to... Well, thanks anyway. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select, as while you will receive a claim for beating them, you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed the quality control. Make sure you indicate what you'd like redeveloped via the R&D screen. Great. They're happy to enter into negotiations with us. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabric. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You were cutting your way through the field during the... Do you think you were lucky not to... Well, thanks anyway. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select, as while you will receive a claim for beating them, you'll lose a claim if you fail to do so. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed the quality control. Make sure you indicate what you'd like redeveloped via the R&D screen. Great. They're happy to enter into negotiations with us.
OK, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Nice job this season. You've been performing well, and that's putting us in a strong negotiating position contract-wise. Plus, my 10% is getting more valuable. So enjoy your break, and keep up the good work next year. <laughs>